Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What's up? Big Herc 916, and you tune in to another edition of Prison Talk. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share the channel, go to FreshOutSeries.com, pick you up some merch, grab your bar of soap, and wash your ass. Don't be walking around stinking. Ain't nothing worse than a funky booty. Make sure you share the channel, and come on now. Subscribe if you watch. We know you guys watch out there, so represent. Man, this story right here is pretty crazy, and it hasn't been getting a lot of publicity, so I figured I would share it with you guys because it popped up on my radar. Former NFL star Sergio Brown in custody awaits extradition to face first-degree murder charges over mother's death. Now, I have seen this story a while back, and it was kind of crazy because this guy's mom was missing, he was missing, and then they found her. She was uh, she was deceased. Somebody had murdered her. You know, this guy had disappeared, and then he popped up doing some weird post, and um, just a lot of really strange things going on. So, four men of star. Sergio Brown is now in police custody, awaits for extradition, first degree murder charges for the death of a 73 year old mother, Myrtle Brown. RadarOnline.com reports the ex Buffalo Bills defensive back was arrested on Tuesday in San Diego after re entering the United States from Mexico, where he had previously tagged his location after going missing. A warrant was issued for Brown, and he will soon be sent to another jurisdiction in Maywood, Illinois. Where he be where he will be able to enter a plea on Saturday, September sixteenth, twenty twenty three, where family members and authorities were unable to locate Miss Brown, Sergio Brown. Both were considered missing persons. The press release from the Maywood Police Department stated, after a brief search of the residence, that the two shared in Maywood, Illinois. <coughs> Miss Myrtle Brown's body was found near a creek, not far from the residence. As we previously reported, Myrtle died from multiple injuries due to assault. RadarOnline.com confirmed after her autopsy was completed. The Cook County Medical Examiner's Office told us that Myrtle's manner of death was listed as a homicide. Amid the investigation, a local resident claimed he last saw Brown in person on September 14th, helping out police by providing video footage from his ring doorbell camera. Shilly, Sheila Simmons, Myrtle's sister, told Chicago news outlet WGN 9 that she had last spoken with her sibling the same day. Before her sister's tragic fate was discovered, Simmons said, we're going to find out what happened because it's not normal for my sister to not answer her phone, not to respond by text messages. People have been reaching out to her since Friday. No one was able to reach her. Authorities have been trying to locate Sergio, for question after his mother's mysterious death. In a sense deleted video, Sergio said he thought his mother was on vacation and that it had to be the FBI or Maywood PD not clarifying exactly he what he meant by it. In the days leading up to Sergio's arrest, his brother took to social media to ask for help locating him. My brother Sergio is still missing. Nick Brown wrote on Instagram, if anyone knows where he's where he is at, I want him to know that I love him and please come home. Sergio had seven seasons run in NFL, playing for the Patriots, Indianapolis Colts, Jacksonville Jaguars, and Buffalo Bills. Man. It makes you wonder, man, like what goes through somebody's mind to want to 
allegedly hurt their mother to the point of death. And he's being charged with first degree murder. Um, obviously they have some evidence. He's not convicted yet, but still, man, just horrible, man, horrible. And, uh, you know, being a professional athlete doesn't really give you any special privileges when it comes to situations like this. If you are um, accused of something, then you have to you have to face your charges. So, uh, yeah, just a, a weird story. This guy disappears, goes down to Mexico, and I guess he was hanging out down there. Then crosses back over the border, and they catch him where he crosses. And um, I had seen where he had did a video when he was down there, and uh, I guess he figured, you know. He was gonna chill by the border because uh, you know he could do his thing, but um, we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on this case. I'll try to uh, you know watch what happens as it develops, but um, just wanted to share that with you. Former NFL player, man, um, involved with possibly the murder of his mother, Sergio Brown. Big Kirk nine one six, fresh out. Officially, I only got one real spanking my entire life. My mom did the best a 14-year-old could do, raising me with love and instilling values that will last a lifetime. I was a straight-A student and lived to make her happy. So how did I go astray? A horrible stepdad that stole my self-worth and invoked fear turned me into a person that I struggled to overcome. From skateboarding to selling drugs, gang-banging in the juvenile hall, I got caught the same way many young promising men get caught up. I struggled to find my identity, getting mixed up in shootouts, crime, and the adult entertainment industry. This roller coaster continued as I juggled college, hustling, and Hollywood, eventually catching a federal bank robbery case. I found redemption in prison while serving a 120 month federal sentence and came out a man on a mission. I became a social media influencer with over half a billion views on YouTube and a life coach mentoring people all over the world. This is my journey against all odds. Stop walking around with a crusty butt, smelly ball sack, and a funky hoo-ha. Big Herc said, wash that ass. Pick you up a t-shirt at freshoutseries.com. What are you doing? Man, I need to go wash that ass. Some of you guys be walk around the gym funky. You guys need to go wash your ass. Go to FreshOutSeries.com and pick up a bar of soap, man. You can't be walking around the gym funky. Make sure you go wash them nuts.